Okay, welcome. Today's topic is the unit conversion tool, and we're going to learn how to convert between moles and mass using this unit conversion tool. So this unit conversion tool, usually when I write it, I just write it like this. We've got it typed into our notes today so that we can visualize exactly what it looks like. Um, so for our unit conversion tool, to begin with, the first thing we need is a starting quantity. So in a problem, we need to be given a starting quantity to, to work with. Second, we need to know where we're going, so we need to have a final unit that we're looking for. And then lastly, we need a conversion ratio. that will allow us to convert from one to the other. Now, again, the, the only purpose for the unit conversion tool is to help us organize our math so that we can show our work and so that we always know which version of the ratio to use because ratios can be written two different ways because they're equivalent numbers. So, for example, we all know that 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram, and we can write that either this way or we can write that as one kilogram over 1,000 grams. We, both of those are valid conversion ratios. We need to know which one to use and when. So because of this problem, we have the solution, which is our unit conversion tool, that tells us exactly which ratio to use and when. All right, so here we go. When starting with the unit conversion tool, First thing we do is draw the T. We break out our trusty dusty unit conversion tool. Top left hand corner, we start with the given unit and quantity. Now it's imperative that you write the unit. If you do not write the unit, you will not know where you're going. So make certain that you use the unit in its entirety. So in order to effectively cover how to use this, we're going to break each part down as we work through the examples. Um, so the first question, I, I went to the grocery store last night to pick up things for snickerdoodles, so that was the theme for today. Um, so when I was at the grocery store, I was walking around and kind of thought, wouldn't it be fun to determine how much sugar or how many moles of sugar are in a container of sugar. Gosh, that would be so much fun to know how many moles of sugar are in a container of sugar. So we looked at the side of the bag and discovered that sugar, which is sucrose, C12H22O11, when you purchase it at the store, the standard bag has a mass of 1.81 kilograms. Um, now, the issue with this sample problem, though, is that when we're using our conversion ratio in order to convert between moles and mass, we use molar mass, and molar mass is recorded in grams per mole. So that means that we need to convert 1.81 kilograms to grams. So that equals 1,810 grams of sugar. So now that this is converted over, now I can use this in our conversion ratios. Um, so, top left-hand corner, our given unit and quantity. We were given 1,810 grams of sugar, so we put that up here. Again, making sure to write the unit in its entirety. Next, diagonal across. This is where our ratio goes. So, here lies the ratio. Here lies the ratio. This just sounds ominous and just terrible. Um, but this helps, this is what helps us determine which ratio to put, whether we put it up top or at the bottom. Now, since we're using molar mass as our ratio, because again, a ratio is just a fraction, we have C12H22O11. So in order to calculate this, we have 12 0.01 is the molar mass of carbon. We have 12 of those. We have 1.01, which is the mass molar mass of hydrogen. We have 22 of these. And oxygen, molar mass of 16. 
and we have 11 of these. So we pull out our calculator to add these up, and we find times 12 plus 1.01 .01 times 22 plus 16 times 11 gives us a grand total of 342.34 grams per mole of sugar. Now again, this is a ratio because that's 342.34 grams for every one mole of sugar. So this allows us to plug this into our ratio up there. Now which part of the ratio do we use? Um, down at the bottom right hand corner we need to match units in our ratio with our given unit. So when I look down here I can either put the grams at the bottom or I can put the moles at the bottom. Since I'm given grams and I need to match grams of sugar I need to write the grams right here. So 342.3 four grams of sugar and then what's left is our one mole of sugar up on the top right. So that means that we match our final oops, final unit in our ratio with the top right. And again look at that we're looking for moles and we're left with moles. Now, in order to use this, once this is all set up, rules for use, step one, multiply across the rows. And then step two is just divide the result. So 1,810 1, times one is 1,810. And I'm going to keep the units because they do not cancel out. And I divide that by 342.34 grams of sugar. Now, when I divide these, just like 7 divided by 7 is 1, 14 divided by 14 is 1, 1 trillion divided by 1 trillion is 1, x divided by x is 1, grams of sugar divided by grams of sugar gives me 1. So then the unit I'm left with is moles of sugar, which is beautiful because that's what I'm looking for. So when I divide 1810, so simplify this by my answer, which is 342.34, I am left with 5.29 moles of sugar. Write everything down. If you don't write the units, you won't know what unit you end up with. All right, let's reverse it real quick. We're going to use the same ratio right here for the next problem because my snickerdoodle recipe that I talked about earlier calls for 0 0.876 moles of sugar. Yes, my recipe calls for moles. Um, what mass of sugar should you add to the mixture? So in the top left hand corner I put my given unit which is 0 0.876 moles and again write sure, make sure that you write the unit in its entirety moles of sugar. Now between I don't know which ratio to use without looking at what I'm given first. I notice I'm given moles, so diagonally across, in order to match units, I need to put one mole of sugar at the bottom right-hand corner. Again, this is always our conversion ratio when we're going back and forth from moles to mass and mass to moles. Now, in one mole of sugar, we'll have a mass of 342.34 grams of sugar. Now that this is set up, I've done the hard work, all I have to do is plug this in my calculator. Multiply across the row, rows and divide. Notice that moles of sugar will divide, will divide and cancel out, so I am left with 0.876 times 342.34 for a grand total of 299.89 grams of sugar. So the moral of this story is make sure that you write your units, make sure the units are across from each other at that diagonal. The whole purpose behind setting this up is so that we know which ratio to use, which one goes on the bottom and which one goes on the top. And then once we know which one goes where, it's just simple hop, ab hop aboard 
to plug in Chug Express, plug it in the calculator, and we're done. Hopefully this is helpful, and I look forward to a tremendous rest of the year.